Do-it-yourself fish balls and homemade sauce with the main ingredient, tina pa! Very easy and affordable recipe. You should definitely try this at home. <laughs> in the streets so you will definitely like this one because it's made from real sardines Uy, sardines nga pala yung English na tinapa so anyway if you want to know how to make this recipe please watch until the end so first we're going to need sardines some water three tablespoons of soy sauce six cloves of garlic and two onions for the sauce and as well as the fish ball one teaspoon of cornstarch, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 1 fourth teaspoon salt, and 1 fourth teaspoon pepper for the fish balls, and also 1 fourth teaspoon of salt and 1 fourth teaspoon of pepper for the sauce. 1 cup flour, and 1 half cup of brown sugar. So first, you need to open 1 can of sardines. Then just mash them into pieces, just like how your heart was broken by your ex. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Combine the onions and the garlic. As well as the salt and pepper. Then also pour in your 1 cup of all-purpose flour and 1 teaspoon baking powder. Combine them thoroughly, then put a little bit of water. Then mix them again with a cut and fold method. Then pour the remaining water. Then mix them again until it's paste-like texture. Now it's time to prepare your cooking oil for the deep fry. Cook your fish balls on medium heat. As for molding the fish balls, you can use a 1 half tablespoon. Once golden brown, you can now get it from the frying pan and put it in a strainer to drain the remaining oil. And here is your fish balls! As for the fish ball sauce, you can now pour some cooking oil and combine the remaining cloves of garlic as well as the minced onions. Pour a quarter cup or half a cup of water, depends on how much sauce you're going to use for the fish balls. Pour in also your 3 tablespoons of soy sauce and 1 fourth teaspoon salt and 1 fourth teaspoon pepper. Combine also your quarter or half a cup of sugar and last but not the least, your 1 teaspoon of cornstarch. Just mix them thoroughly while your burner or stove is on low heat. And 
And ta-da! This is your fish ball sauce and your fish balls. So I decided to put my fish balls on a barbecue stick to get the vibe that I'm also on the streets eating my fish balls. Okay guys, so we're back and this is the final product, our fish balls! Ayan, so titikman na natin guys! So ito nga din pala yung fish sauce, the fish ball sauce I mean. I put it sa barbecue steak. It's parang street food talaga, di ba? Para kunwari nandun ka din sa Ross Night Market. Okay, so let's try this. So yummy! So, mas legit pa to guys. Kasi yung mga nakikita lang natin sa streets kasi made from real sardines talaga siya. So, you should definitely try this at home. Okay, so I hope that you learned something new today. But before we end our cooking session, I will give you some food for the soul. So, our Bible verse for today is Lamentations chapter 3, verse 25. It says here, The Lord is wonderfully good to those who wait for Him to those who seek for Him. Amen. So I hope that you learned something new today, mga momchis and mga popchis. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel, and click the notification bell in order for you not to miss out any new uploaded videos. So again, thank you so much for watching, and God bless.